Pop Chemicals is one of the world's leading suppliers of systems and chemical products for use in the pulp and paper industry. One of those products is sodium chlorate. Sodium chlorate is an oxidizer and is used in the manufacture of chlorine dioxide, a bleaching agent for craft pulp. Pulp is bleached to assure that the paper produced from it has the whiteness people have come to expect. Because of the amount of sodium chlorate that is used in the process, pulp and paper mills are constantly receiving shipments of the chemical. Although sodium chlorate is harmless looking, it can be extremely dangerous if it's not handled properly. We're going to show you when and how it can be dangerous, and the things you should do to avoid any trouble. Sodium chlorate is commercially available in three forms. Its purest form is as a crystal. It actually looks a lot like salt. It's also available dissolved in water. This liquid form is clear and harmless looking. The third form is also liquid. It is yellow in color and is usually called a GFL or generator feed liquor solution. You'll probably come in contact with all of these forms. Sodium chlorate is transported in a variety of ways. By rail, in both crystal and liquid form. By road, also in both crystal and liquid form. By barge, almost always in liquid form. And in bags, always in crystal form. Let's take a look at why sodium chlorate can be dangerous and why it deserves to be handled with respect. This worker isn't wearing any safety clothing or personal protection equipment during an unloading process. His cotton coverall is accidentally splashed with some sodium chlorate solution. Most splashes that occur will probably be smaller than this one, although a splash this size could happen at any time. The splash is ignored and dries. This is when things get dangerous, because once sodium chlorate solution is absorbed into clothing or any other combustible material and allowed to dry, the resulting mixture is extremely flammable. Watch what would happen if a lighted cigarette were to come into contact with it. This isn't an ordinary fire either. It's a really fast and furious fire because sodium chlorate is an oxidizing agent and supplies its own oxygen to the fire. We don't need to tell you what would have happened if someone had been in those coveralls. And this fire could have happened any time. The dried solution is a bonfire just waiting to happen. The same thing holds for boots. These boots aren't the proper neoprene or rubber safety boots this worker should be wearing and are being splashed during the unloading process. The splash has dried. Sodium chlorate solution in contact with leather or any other combustible material is extremely flammable when it dries. The message here is pretty clear. Proper safety clothing should always be worn when sodium chlorate is being handled. Clean, waterproof overalls or smock. The jacket must be done up before work starts. Rubber or neoprene safety boots. A safety hat. A pair of goggles or safety glasses with side shields. And rubber or neoprene gloves. Jacket sleeves must be outside the gloves to prevent anything running into them. Here's another reason sodium chlorate should be handled with respect. Acid is used in pulp mills and is often unloaded in areas close to where sodium chlorate is being handled. Even though they are mixed under controlled conditions in the manufacturing process, they should never be allowed to come in contact with each other at any other time, even in small amounts. Watch why. This coverall has had some sodium chlorate solution spilled on it and the spill has dried. If it comes in contact with some acid, even a drop or two, the message is pretty clear here too. If you are moving from one loading area to another, 
make sure you are wearing clean safety clothing. Don't assume it's clean, change clothing. And never do anything that might cause a sodium chlorate solution or an acid to mix together because the mixture will produce highly toxic and dangerous fumes. Sodium chlorate must not only be handled with respect, but with care, too. In addition to wearing the proper clothing and changing it between loading areas, there are other things that should be done. You should be aware of the symbols and signs that are designated for the chemical and its form. This symbol on a yellow placard indicates an oxidizer. Sodium chlorate is an oxidizer. The number designation tells whether it is a liquid 2428 designates sodium chlorate solution or a solid 1495 designates sodium chlorate crystals. For additional information, you can consult the material safety data sheet available at your workplace. Unload sodium chlorate only in specifically designated handling areas. This area should be clean, preferably washed down and it should be free of any organic material, like wood, for example, that could become splashed with sodium chlorate solution, dry, and turn into a serious fire hazard. This piece of wood had liquid sodium chlorate dry on it. As you can see, this isn't just an ordinary wood fire. Before starting the unloading process, the transportation of dangerous goods regulations in effect at your plant should be followed. Everyone should be aware of a strict no smoking or open flame requirement in sodium chlorate handling areas for obvious reasons. Taking these simple and sensible precautions without shortcuts can make the handling of sodium chlorate a safe process for you and your co-workers. If there ever is a fire involving sodium chlorate, be aware that the only way it can be put out is with water. Here's why. As you know, a fire needs three things in order to burn fuel, heat, and oxygen. Remove either the oxygen or the heat, and the fire will go out. But trying to smother a sodium chlorate fire with a blanket or foam from a fire extinguisher to remove its oxygen will not put it out. Sodium chlorate is an oxidizing agent, so it will supply its own oxygen to the fire. You must take away the heat, and the only way to do that is with water. Douse the fire with water, and the fire will go out. Okay, let's review all the things that should be done to make the handling of sodium chlorate a safe process. Be wearing the proper clothing, clean waterproof overalls or smock, rubber or neoprene safety boots, a safety hat, a pair of goggles or safety glasses with side shields, and rubber or neoprene gloves. Jacket sleeves must be outside the gloves to prevent anything running into them. Only attempt to unload in an area specifically designated as a sodium chlorate handling area. In addition to water hoses, there should also be a safety shower right beside this area. The area should be free of any organic material such as wood, cardboard, rope, or cloth. The area should always be washed down with water prior to unloading. When a shipment arrives, the tank car or truck should be properly blocked so it can't move during the unloading operation. If a barge is being unloaded, all mooring lines should be snug and secure. The transportation of dangerous goods regulations in effect at your plant should be followed to the letter. The no smoking or open flame rule must be strictly observed by everyone in the area. Know exactly what it is you are dealing with by checking the placard on the container vehicle. 2428 means the load is in liquid form. And 1495 means it is in crystal form. Change your clothing if you leave the loading area or move to another loading area. If you do get some sodium chlorate solution on you, get out of the contaminated clothing, wet it with water if necessary, and keep it wet. Don't let the splash dry and put it in the proper wash bin. Wash yourself thoroughly with water. Take a shower if you get splashed extensively. Don't go on with the unloading 
until all contamination has been washed down and removed from the splash area. And if there is a fire, remember, put it out with water only. Do not try to smother it with a blanket or with foam from a fire extinguisher. That won't put it out. Water will. So there it is. Although sodium chlorate is potentially dangerous, it can be handled safely. All it takes is to use the procedures you have seen in this video without exception. Because sodium chlorate is a chemical you should handle with respect. <laughs>